Is this what the antennas on your Wi-Fi router look like? If so, I'm sorry, but I have bad news for you. You're probably doing it wrong. In this episode from Network From Home, I'll break down how your router antennas work and how you can position them to increase and strengthen your Wi-Fi network signals. So when it comes to your router's antennas, I'm willing to bet they probably look like this. All of your antennas are vertical. It makes the router look nice. It makes it look more presentable wherever you place it, whether it's on your table or on a shelf somewhere. It just overall, it looks nice. But the problem is, if you're setting up your router's antennas like this, chances are you're probably sacrificing your Wi-Fi signal strength in areas of the home where you may need to use the internet. So let's dive a little bit into that today. The most important thing to do first here is to make sure we understand how our router antennas work. Because in doing so, you'll know how to configure them best for your home. Because at the end of the day, everyone's antennas on their router may look a little bit different and may be configured a little bit differently. So we'll get into that today, but first let's talk about how these bad boys work. Okay, so let's get into the basics of our router antennas here. As you may have guessed, the Wi-Fi signal from your router is broadcast from these antennas and that broadcast signal, that wireless network, that's what your devices are connecting to when they're connected over Wi-Fi. Okay, the basics are covered. Now let's dive a little bit deeper into these antennas. The key point about the antennas on your router is the fact that they are called omnidirectional. Honestly, that's just a fancy term for saying that the wireless signal that's broadcast from these antennas, it's broadcast in all directions and it's broadcast equally in all directions. So the point I wanna emphasize here is that with your router antennas being omnidirectional, there's another key factor, and that's the fact that the wireless signal is broadcast perpendicular to the orientation of the antenna. So if we're looking at these antennas, and I have a few diagrams here to show us, if we're looking top down, it means the signal is coming out from all sides of the antenna. And if we take a look at the side profile, it just means every direction perpendicular to the orientation. If an antenna has a vertical orientation, that means that the wireless signal is sent out horizontally. So see here, all of these antennas are aligned vertically. Their wireless signals will be coming out horizontally on a horizontal plane. Conversely, if the router's antennas were configured like this, the signal, the wireless signal would be broadcast on this plane. So I know what you're thinking. What does this mean to you? So now we know how our antennas broadcast our wireless signals, but what are we supposed to do with that? I'll tell you. Depending upon the configuration of your home and where your router is placed, you want to configure your antennas to ensure that the wireless signal is broadcast to the areas of your home where you use the internet the most. And I'll give you a classic example here. My wife and I, we live on the third floor of our building. Some mornings we like to work out together in the basement. So we're talking three levels down from where we live now. We like to watch workout classes on YouTube. So how do we get a wireless internet signal in the basement? Well, when we first started doing this, my router's antennas were aligned vertically. And guess what? I didn't have great wireless signal in the basement. Why is that? Because once again, 
the wireless signal was being broadcast in a horizontal plane. So none of the wireless signal was reaching down in the basement where I was located. So I got a little bit smarter about my router's antennas and I started to align the antennas on my router a little bit more like this. And what I would do, and I wouldn't put them all like this, we'll get into this a little bit later, but what I would do is basically I would make sure the face of the antenna was pointing to the area of the basement that my wife and I were working out and watching YouTube videos. So basically, I would align the router like this, so that way the signal, and I'm not doing a good job of it here, but that way the signal would be broadcast in this direction toward the basement. Surprisingly, in changing the orientation of my router's antenna, I immediately saw an improved wireless signal in the basement and we had no problem loading our YouTube videos and working out. This is just one example. Let's say you live on a, on a one level home. If you live in a one level home, you're probably just fine with your router's antennas like this because again, your signal is gonna be broadcast on the horizontal plane. That means in all directions from your router, on that same level, you'll probably get good Wi-Fi signal. If you have multiple floors, you can move one of the antennas like this or orient the antenna so that way the signal is broadcast up to that second level. The key takeaway I want you to keep in mind here is that not all of your router's antennas need to be configured the same way. So this means, say you have a multi-level home. You have a main living level and either one level above or one level below. What you can do is you can orient one of your antennas so your wireless signal goes up a level or down a level and the other two antennas are vertical. So this wireless signal from these two antennas is broadcast horizontally onto your main living level. That way, you can provide a wireless signal in the further reaches of your home, maybe where you don't use the internet as much, either up or down a level. But on the main level, where most of the time people are accessing the internet, you have good coverage because you have two antennas broadcasting a wireless signal to that main level. And let me just say that I know, I, I get it. Some people are going to have problems with putting their router on their counter or their table and having it look like this. It's not the prettiest. I understand that. It's not symmetrical. Your OCD may be triggered a little bit, but I promise you, try this out and see if you get a better wireless signal. And if you don't believe me, what I would recommend is you look up a Wi-Fi signal analyzer, and there are many to choose from, just Google Wi-Fi signal analyzer. There are a lot of free ones out there, but those Wi-Fi signal analyzers will tell you the strength of your wireless signal. So what I would say is keep all of your router's antennas vertical, go to a far reaching area of your home, either upper level or down a level, test the wireless signal strength, and then change the orientation of your router's antennas and then measure the strength of the wireless signal again, I can pretty much guarantee that you'll get a better wireless signal if you're orientating your router's antennas so they are broadcasting the wireless signal to those areas. So the main action that I wanna assign you with here, your homework is to go take a look at your router's antennas, make sure they're oriented in a way that maximizes the Wi-Fi signal in your home. That way everyone gets Wi-Fi access no matter where they're accessing the internet in your home. That pretty much covers it for what I wanted to talk about today. Make sure you go home and do your homework, but if you have any questions about this, please drop a comment below. If you have either a unique configuration in your home or you're not getting good Wi-Fi access, 
Let's see if we can work through a solution together. If you like this content or like this video in particular, give it a like. If you like this type of content and you want to see other ways of improving your home network, give the channel a subscribe because there's going to be plenty of more content and helpful videos coming down the line here. And as always, thanks for checking out this episode from Network From Home. We'll catch you on the next one.